Hello, and welcome to Frighteningly Metal. This is, well, a warning. Sometimes, not all the time, sometimes things get out of control. Not like crazy out of control, like people aren't busting out boobies or nothing, but sometimes it, it, it crosses the line. It almost happened once. Trish went, uh, uh, you've been warned, right? A um, little bit of cussing, a little bit of swearing, and I know that talking scared sometimes has scenes of violence, and Frighteningly Metal used to not to... But now, Mindy's eating somebody's fucking face in the intro, guys. You're going to see it in just a second. I'll eat your fucking face! As you can see, right there, Mindy is a big fan of eating faces, and this is frighteningly metal, and this has been fucking your parental advisory. And welcome everybody Hi. to Frighteningly Metal. We are going to have sepsis on in just a second. I know that's why you're here. I know that's what everybody wants to see, but you stuck with my ugly mug for a second in this beautiful mug right over here to my left side, the beautiful, wonderful Patricia, who makes everything really honestly run around here. Believe it or not, I she try, uh, she does. She does. Do she keeps everything. Stuff. Don't lie, I do the graphics. Keeps stuff. everything on track. <laughs> keeps everything on track. And welcome everybody out there watching, Paula. Man, I am excited to see you on. Uh, we had a good talk, and I'm excited to talk more in the future about some uh, cool shit going on um, on the haunted horror side of things. But that's yeah. what we're here to talk about tonight. Tonight's all about frighteningly metal. It's all about frighteningly metal fest too. It's all about sepsis. And many, many other very cool things that we're going to be talking about tonight. Sepsis we got a lot of has shit going on quite, right now. quite the fucking calendar this yes, year, do. going into next year as well. And we're going to talk about all of it. Of course, we're going to talk about Frighteningly Metal Fest too, obviously, obviously. Which tickets are on sale right now? God damn it! Cool. www.thehauntedhoneymooners.com. In but the don't... next five, get a collective occult. That's right. That's right. Next five purchases, whether it's general admission. Whether it's the Insanity Pass or whether it is the wonderful VIP packages, very important poopers, keep that in yep. mind. Um, whichever ticket it is you buy, you send over that proof of purchase over to the Collective Occult, and they're going to hook you up. Just screenshot it. Just screenshot yeah. it. They're going to hook you up with a free t-shirt. First, next, well, the next five ticket purchases, yep. you're going to get that. That comes exclusively from the Collective Occult, and we yeah. thank them for that. That was their music. Welcome to the Collective. You heard in the lobby, and at the end of this tonight... For the very last time before we debut some new music to you next week, yes. we are going to have Welcome to the Collective's lyric video played for you at the very end of this show. So make sure you stay tuned. Listen to for the whole thing. That. Yeah, listen to the whole thing. You only get a little local music. Yeah, you only get a little clip of it there in the lobby video. So we got the whole kit and caboodle for you tonight. Um, one thing that I do want to talk about that's going to be happening in the next 28 days that I'm very excited yes. about. I'm also a little apprehensive about it. And it, we just come up with this today, so. Yes. So this is very much very much in the works. I have no clue how we're going to fill up 10 hours. But um, we will. But we will. We There's are going, going to. going to be a live marathon. Yes. A live Haunted Honeymooners Science Behind the Scare marathon. Uh, Facebook has unlocked some cool stuff for us. And um, they we are going to. with it. Yeah. They're going to allow us to do a 10-hour live feed. And, um, and they offered us some money to do that, and we're going to take a chunk of that money, and we're going to give it to charity. And what we're also going to do... Oh, no, no, this is all you, girl. All right, we're specifically giving it to the Santa Rosa Kids House because that is a charity that we are giving donations and things of that nature to off of ticket sales, yep. off of shirt sales, off of just about everything. Yep, we got a raffle, with all types of cool stuff. Too. All types of it's cool stuff. It's going to the Santa Rosa Kids House. It's a very good local organization down in Florida, and we want to be able to give back every year when we do these things. And that We want to start getting on money now. So we're going to do this 10-hour... Big extravaganza, <laughs> fill up. God only knows how long. We're yeah. going gonna to figure it out. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna we're, we're going to figure it out for sure. And um, any stars, yeah, that you guys send during that feed, they are also going to the Santa Rosa yeah. Kids House. All um, the stars go to Santa every Rosa single one Kids of them house. during that live feed. All right, so yep. make sure you're. We'll announce more about it. We'll get you the exact date. We're going to do this shindig and all that good stuff. We're going to have all types of different stuff that we're going to be doing that night, that day. <laughs> Ten hours is a long ass that feed. That world time. Thing? Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, but any stars that are given out during that ten hour live feed will also be going directly to the Santa Rosa Kids House, as well as a little over hundred dollars that we're getting from Facebook itself just for doing the ten hour live. Yep. That's also going to them. Um, so very very excited about that. Make sure that you're able to tune in for that, and I promise we will get you more information on that ten hour live feed for charity. 
And so soon. you don't miss anything, go click follow and click like on the page. Yes, absolutely, as as absolutely. Over, go that go way follow. You know. Yeah, you that know way you know what's happening. You can see our ten hour fuckery. Yeah, our ten <laughs> hours of fuckery. Absolutely, I like it. That's what we might call it. Even ten though it's hours for, of fuckery. It is for a kids' house. Maybe we should change yeah. the name to not ten hours of fuckery. Ten hours um, of fun. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We've already told you guys. The PA warning told you not to let your kids watch this shit, anyways. Um, so, uh, is Facebook allowing us bathroom breaks, Nick? I doubt it, man. Uh, we're going to have to incorporate our own potty you. breaks, um, for sure. But that's enough of that. I'm going to mention one last thing before we go and retrieve sepsis and bring them to you. Cause I know that's why everybody's here Absolutely tonight. Absolutely, it is. Tickets. They're on sale. Right? Go get them. Right meow. Go right meow. Don't get them like right meow. No. Wait till we're done and then Finish go it. get them. Then go get them. www.thehauntedhoneymooners.com is where you can get your tickets to Frighteningly Metal Fest 2. $35, general admission, all right? And keep in mind, that's nine fucking metal bands. Nine metal bands that are going to be performing for you all screen. day long. All day long, you're going to have metal music being pumped into your ear holes as much as yeah. we, we're going to pump it into your nose holes. If you're not careful, we might pump it up into your buttholes before it's all said and done. There's going to be a lot of holes getting pumped with a lot of music. And speaking of that, we have something Speaking special. of buttholes? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Speaking of Friday Angry Metal Fest 2, we have a special little thing we're going to be announcing tonight, too, with Sepsis. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. A little special guest announcement uh, for the headline of our show, which we're very excited to be able to talk about that tonight. Um, $45 is that insanity package, yep. and we've already talked about it. It's not guaranteed that that's going to be the only night you can do insanity but as of right now but it's if looking you want like to for sure do it it's looking like that's it's, it. it's happening that's going to be the only night you can do the insanity tour where creepy hollow woods is going to fuck you up nope. even more than what they do on the regular nope. haunt all right you're going to get bloody you're going to get messy you're going to get nasty and you're going to get a free insanity shirt and we're going to have bathrooms so you can get yourself all nice and cleaned up afterwards and get back to rocking um, so $45 for that Insanity Pass. So we've talked about it, and I'll keep talking about it. A lot of haunted attractions are going to charge you that same price, if just not more, just to go through the haunted attraction one time. No music, no festival, no vendors, none of that stuff. Just no going through the stuff. haunted attraction. And we love haunts just as much as anyone else. But that price is getting you the entire festival all day long, yep. plus... Plus the haunted attraction. There's yep. not an extra charge to go on the trail. Nope. It's all inclusive. You pay that $35 for general admission or $45 for the insanity and includes everything. But say you want to step it up one more notch and say because that. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? You want to be a very important pooper, you right? Want you want that VIP pooper. package. Um, I'm going to talk about a it briefly. We're calling it that. So yes. with the VIP package, you have front stage access. So the stage is elevated, but in front of the stage, right in front where everybody wants to be, where they can, of course, see. See, too. Those spots are going to be saved for you. So you can go poop. Yep, yep. You can leave. You we'll can have security poop. at the gate for that to back. make sure that only our VIP people are allowed in there. Um, so we'll make sure that that's all good and nice and nobody's getting in yep. there that shouldn't be up in there. And you're going to be able to do that. Also, a lot of these bands, not all of them, but a lot of these bands know each other. A lot of these bands are going to hang like out to and support, support each, each other. other. A lot of the bands want to go through the trail, and the trail's not going to be opened up till later on that evening. It won't be open the entire festival. So they're going to hang out to also go on the trail. And honestly, we know some of these bands. We're going to be hanging out with them the day yeah. afterwards as well. Um, Maybe the day before for some <laughs> Shit, no, I can't. I can't. I'm going to be fucking nervous as hell. What are you talking about, girl? Um, but with that, with the bands that are going to be jamming out and hanging out with people, we're they're not, it's not an option. Area. They're going to be in that VIP area. They're going to be in the secured area. If they're there, that's where they're going to be. Yeah. You might be jamming beside some of the bands you're listening to. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you might go down there, pick up on a new favorite band, and there's the opportunity. Yep. They're going to be headbanging right with you before the night's all said and done, which is pretty fucking cool. Also, <laughs> VIP are the only ones that will be granted access to the band meet and greet area. I don't know for sure which bands are going to be doing it as of right now. Nobody's told me no yet, um, <laughs> so it looks like all of them, but I'm not guaranteeing that by any stretch, all right? We'll see. We'll um, see, and we'll let you know when we and you know don't, sure. We don't also know which band it is exactly you'll be able to hang out with, because we're going to send them back through in groups. No, it's kind of raffle style. Yeah, but that'll be another part of it. You're obviously going to get the Frighteningly Metal Fest 2 t-shirt, and... Yeah. And last but certainly not least, we are going to reduce, if not eliminate, lines for you as much as we possibly can. There will be yep. special entrances for VIPs, 
special pathways for VIPs. When you want to go to the haunt, you let us know when you want to go in, and we're going to get you into the haunt as quickly as we possibly can. Yep. Might even get the possibility of going through the haunt with a band member. You never know. You, you never know. know. No might promises happen. on that, but that might happen. And that is what that $85 VIP package is all about. That's what it's going to uh, Yeah, $85 VIP. I got confused. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Words are hard. Yeah. Let's go get sepsis before I fuck this go shit up em. anymore. All right. We'll be back in just a minute. Y'all, hang in there. Here's our son screaming frighteningly metal because that's what he that's does. That's what sometimes. he does. Hi, I'm Michael. Say, come in me metal. All right, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, sepsis, to the show this wow. evening. Hey. What is up, ladies and gents? How y'all doing tonight? Doing good. How are you? Uh, good. We're good. We're good. We're so happy to have you on here live. Have you on live. Finally. Finally. It only took a fucking ever, ever, but here we are. The system literally broke right before they were able to come on last time. So. Yeah, and it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. I think William broke it. He's not on tonight. That's why everything's working. Yep, He's yep, in the yep. background. <laughs> Will, stay in the background, all right? Man, we don't need you fucking this shit up, all right? Uh, <laughs> Um, but real quick, let's start off with some introductions, and I'm going to let y'all handle that part. I ain't going to try and, and mess things up. So we're going to obviously start ladies first and then kind of do a little round robin here. What's your name? What is your role in the band? And um, one interesting fact about yourself. Hello, my name is Melissa Wolf, and I am the lead singer for Sepsis. And an interesting fact about me is I am more than just a singer. I'm also a model. I'm a gamer girl. I'm an artist. We, we, I we, have many hats. We <laughs> talked about that gaming a little bit last time, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I love that. I love that about you. I love that about Let you. Let me just say, it's so always much. wonderful when you have women gamers. <laughs> because there's not many. No, there's not. It's there's like not. with the manga. There's not many people <laughs> no, that I like, like anime. I like, <laughs> I like it. All right, who wants to go next? I'm Cameron. I play guitar for Sepsis, and um, I have a twin sister. That is cool nice. as shit. I yeah, like a lot it. of people don't know that. I like it. All right, cool. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Is she the prettier one? She's the good one. I'm the evil one. You have to have a good and a bad I got gotcha. you. I like that he thinks he's prettier than his sister, though. I like that. Because <laughs> he didn't deny that at all. <laughs> oh all right, who wants to go next? Um, Johnny, I play bass. Oh, God, yeah. it's the bassist. Oh. Everybody dumps on the bassist. Do you get dumped on? <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The damn thing. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Johnny. Go ahead, man. Um, <laughs> well, that's an interesting fact. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Interesting fact. I'm a huge nerd. Huge nerd. Well, we'll, we'll put that to the that test. We'll like find it. out soon. We'll find out soon just how big of a nerd you are, I promise. All right, um, we got one last person back there, man. What's going on? Yeah, what's good? Um, I am Mr. Good Bars. I play keyboards, and I'm the technology guy for Sepsis. And one interesting fact about me is the fact I can be anybody in Super Smash Brothers Melee. If they want to line it up, we can line it up. I can make it happen. Damn, nah, and I can't. No, he's one of the Super Smash Brothers, and he no, ain't no good at no, it. No, so. no, I was What I was going to say is if he had said like Age of Empires or, no. or, or something along those lines, then yeah, I could definitely Listen, I'm I could done definitely with this get one with rough Age and rowdy. <laughs> um, but uh, Super Smash Brothers, no, I'll get my ass kicked. And I gotta give a shout out to Mr. Goodbars, officially a Haunted Honeymooners top fan badge wearing yeah, yeah, member. Yeah. I love it. I fucking Woo! love it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, hey, Will, where the fuck are you at, man? Pop up for a second. Tell everybody what you do, man. Get your ass up in here for a second. He's going to like, There he is. Well, I, uh, my name's William, and I compose and... Quit pushing Melissa, man. I, I know, right? I'm, 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 a, le I'm a leaner. Rude. I compose and play guitar, mostly. Right? Right. Um... Yeah. You got to you got to hit us with an interesting fact before you go back. Oh man, you sing reggae. <laughs> yeah, I sing, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I um I, I I feature in a lot of regional and local hip hop artist songs. Nice. I sing hooks. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a rap hook singer. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. I like it. All right. Cool, right? Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. All right, I got to give a couple shout-outs to people out there watching. Bubba, it's good to see I you, man. I love y'all, man. 
Uh, we're going to have Will back on for a second. I got a special surprise for Will a little later on. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> got to give a little shout out to Creepy Hollow Woods, which is the venue for Frighteningly Metal Fest 2. They're hanging out with us tonight. Kevin, what's up? I hope you haven't burnt your mask up or any of that nonsense today. Uh, Bubba, always nice to see you. I've already said hello to Paula, Science Behind the Scare, all types of people watching tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you click that share button. Let's blow this shit up. Yes. Now, oh, yeah. my lovely wife, uh -oh. I am going to give you the option as to which of our two gatekeepers we're going to do first tonight for sepsis before we officially let them into a live Frighteningly Metal show well, we kicking things off with battle of the five or seven things no, we must we're know kicking it off with seven things we must know about you because okay. we got to play this game with will and melissa and we had a blast we actually played the game almost completely twice with will and melissa like so now it. we gotta get everybody else in here too absolutely absolutely all right so I, what we got going on here these are seven random asked questions and they have changed since the last time that you were on melissa so don't think you're going to already have an advantage tonight. There's no advantages to be had. And if uh, one of them comes up you've already had, we will flip-flop that and push it off to somebody that. Else. We'll make her answer again. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so we got questions one to seven. Now, again, we're going to go ladies first, and then we'll just go clockwise around everybody. Mm -hmm. um, Melissa, questions one to seven. What number do you want? And let's see what surprises lay in store for you this evening. All right, let's go with seven. Seven. Let's see what we got. All right, thinking back to your childhood, what is your favorite show as a kid? Mine was Power Rangers. What was yours? Are we talking TV shows? Whatever. Whatever you want it to be. What was that, what was that particular thing you watched so many times? Somebody could turn it on right now, and you could quote it word for it. I'll even confess. I had my kids watching Power Rangers. Yeah. I got excited when I saw the Green Ranger and the Red Ranger kind of go at yeah. it for the first time. I'm a Red Ranger fan, 100%. Red <laughs> Ranger is. all the way. Fuck Tommy. You suck. <laughs> I hate you. You have no business being a Power Ranger. All right? I am Jason all the way. He's all the legit way. over in the corner telling our son, being like, now the Red Ranger is the good Ranger. Yeah, right? he's the one. He's the one. Um, but, uh, but what show does it for you? What was that show for you, Melissa? All right, so when I was younger, I didn't, I haven't really watched a lot of TV, but when it comes to like cartoons and things, I used to watch a lot of like South Park. Nice. Jesus, when you I were, that's South your favorite Park. childhood show is fucking South Park? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I, again, that's I didn't weird. watch a lot of TV. Fucking hardcore since she was she a child. She didn't get to watch a lot, but when she watched it, she watched it like a boss. So. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. My parents weren't very strict about those sorts of things. So. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. Damn, South Park. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's, let's, let's go to our, to, let's go. I guess we got to do the basis next, don't we? Yes, we no. do. God damn it. All right. <laughs> you got one to six left, man. Which one would you like? One to six. Four. Four. Question number four. How will this wonderful world end? I, I believe everybody thinks at some point. Oh, why would you it's all got I know, come, right? <laughs> it's all oh, got to come to an end, man. Thing? What do you think? What's going to be the thing that does it? Johnny Impact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, oh, man. No. Um, I'm going to go out there and just say a world like zombie apocalypse. Zombie, zombie apocalypse. apocalypse? Yeah. It's exciting. Really? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> really? Survival of the fittest. All right. I mean, I'll let it slide. Um, I guess that was a zombie apocalypse. Now, how does the zombie apocalypse take place? Do we, do we cause this shit? Is it some natural virus that hits all of a sudden? Johnny eats old McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> he starts it off. It's my he fault for letting the bassist talk yeah. tonight. I'm sorry. That was my bad. You know, <laughs> I, I, can, I can own that. I can own that. All right. Uh, let's let's move on here, uh, Mr. Good Bars. You got one to three, as well as five and six remaining. Which one would you like, sir? Let me go to um, five. Let me get a number five. Question five: Do aliens exist? And if they do, what do you think they are? They like little one-celled organisms, or are there whole other colonies out there that we don't know nothing about? If, if they if they did, I know for one thing, we're not the only. We're not the only ones. Oh, yeah. I know that. And if they are, they're they're um they're our own organisms. I'm gonna say that they're, they're multiple 
they're multiple organisms in one. Like I how like we it. are. I we like got it. multiple bugs on us right now. Yeah, so, yeah. No, that's absolutely. What I, would say. I like it. I like it. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Moving on, man. Which question you want? We got questions one to three and question six remaining. Six. Six. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I like it. I like it. So you're stuck in a horror movie. You are a victim. Now, that horror movie, would you rather be stuck in there with Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, or Michael Myers? If you're stuck in a horror movie and you're trying to escape, which of the three would you pick to be your adversary? Oh, one of them's my buddy? No, no, no. They're one of coming. them is chasing you, trying to kill you, gut you, skin you alive, whatever fantasies they may have about your body on that particular Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. That's the second time Freddy's been picked. I don't Yeah, well, he's it. a bitch compared to the other two. I don't want fucking Jason oh or Michael's God. big ass coming after me. <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right. All right. Freddy touched children. I could, I could take Freddy, I think. I, I Even in Dreamscape, man. Even in that dream world. Even in, I got you. a powerful mind. I like it. I like it. All right. All right. Now, we got four people and three questions left, regretfully. All right. So, we're going to do a little bit of a wild wild card, little round robin here. Um, who would like the next question? Just, just holler it out. We got questions one to three remaining. Somebody shout out a number, and we'll give you that question. Two. Two. You can be any superhero in the world. Take over all of their powers. What superhero are you picking? What superhero? It, it can be any universe? Any universe, any hero, whatever you want. You take over the, all of their powers, move forward with them. That is who you are. Who are you picking? I am being, I am going to be uh, Beerus, the god of destruction in Dragon Ball Z. Yes! What the fuck yes, is with all I this anime that. shit? <laughs> Damn it. Well, this, this is the second time that I have had this question up here, and it has been Dragon Ball Z, and he hates it. Like, he hasn't watched it. <laughs> he hasn't watched it. I've been trying. Somebody, somebody help me out here. Oh, it's amazing. it's amazing. That's one of my fa That's my favorite childhood cartoon. Yeah, mine too. Now, unfortunately, I can't even say that because I didn't get to watch it till I was an adult. But it's one of my favorite adult cartoons. So yes, it, it's incredible. So upset. So upset. <laughs> Majin Buu series. Majin Buu series delete, is the best. I'm sorry. deleting that goddamn question, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, all right, questions Majin one and three remain. Somebody shout out a number to me. Three. Three. All right. Would you? Oh man, I like this one. This is this is a rough one. Um, I'm gonna see if you have the same answer everybody else has. All right. So you're <laughs> given the options. All right. You can be a one-hit wonder. Your song touches everybody forever and ever and ever. All right. It lives in infamy. But it's just that one song. But it's just that one song. All right. Nothing else ever breaks through for you. Other question. Other option. One year of all the fame that you could ever dream of. That's Everybody all. knows who you are. Everybody sees you perform. It is the greatest year of your life. They all love your songs. They all know it. But at the end of that year, it's all gone. What do you take? Do you take the one hit wonder or that one year of more fame than you could even begin to comprehend? That is a really hard question. Yep. I'm going to go with the one year. That's the first one time year, we've got the one year. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Have a hell of a year. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. All right. Last question. Who wants it? Who wants the last one? I'll take it. All right. Harry said they more options. When did you lose your virginity? When I was 14. 14? We yeah. almost, Josh Heggie's record was almost broken this evening. It was 13's close. 13's the record. 13's the record, all right? So it was, it was that close. 13 and 21, right? 13, it was close. 13's it was close the youngest, 13. 21 is the oldest. Yeah. So that was, that was close. That's that was our close. spectrum. I like it. I like it. Um, now, we are going to transition over for just a second before we get into the Battle of the Five, which is coming, in which I do have Will's surprise in. Yes. Um, but I want to talk a little bit, a little bit with you guys um, before we talk about tour dates and, and everything else that you got going on, what has kind of been the story of sepsis as much as you can kind of sum it up? What's been a little bit of the road that's led here? 
What's a little bit of the road that has led to sepsis being where they, where are, they are today? today? What was kind of the formation of the band? How did all this come to be? Well, from my side of the story, um, I'm one of the original founders of the band, and the band started about 10 years ago when I first met William, who's hiding in the background, <laughs> um, and I met him through a Craigslist ad when we were both searching for a band at the time. And from there, I had my tryout. And from the tryout, I did some covers. I did like an Evanescence song, some originals that I did. And um, it, from there, I just kind of, it, it clicked. You know what I mean? Yep. And um, he sent me home with a couple songs that he wrote that I would end up writing to. And some of those songs don't still exist today, but you know, we worked on that. And by the end of the week, I had a song for him and we created some social media. And after that, um, you guys can like introduce yourselves, like what part you came in, if you'd like. <laughs> Well, you got to tell them the best part about the Craigslist story. Yeah. Which part? Is that, <laughs> Which part? So, yes. so, Craigslist so critical to bands, man. Well, it's so like, I, I met the band through Craigslist, too. <laughs> but so they told me this story, and it's really funny because, like Will said, he does a lot um, of hip-hop stuff. Yeah. So back then, he's hanging out in the basement with all of his buddies. They're all rappers. They're all making music and stuff like that, having fun. So she comes down. They're all They're all there, and she's like, is this the audition for the metal band? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shy. <laughs> but the funniest part, though, I had to say, is when it was the wrong Melissa that auditioned. Oh, what was her <laughs> name, man? I always forget. Was it Ashley? There was supposed to be another girl there that day, um, and she never showed up. Well, fuck that. <laughs> it worked out for Melissa. Yeah, it's it, it was me. It was me. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Now, here we are today. We got so much exciting stuff that we're going to talk about here in just a moment. But regretfully, I'm sorry. I love you guys. I really do. I have so much respect and love for you. And I'm going to say this right now, too. If you guys don't play Black Light Invasion when you're at the concert, I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm just telling you now, I'm done. Of course we're gonna play. I don't know about. Um, now we have talked to Moto a little bit about it too. There may be some glow sticks involved for the crowd during that. So. There's all types. Of Hell stuff. yeah! Types Hell of yeah! Going on. We're, we're, oh. we're excited about it. Um, but before I can get into to the, a lot of the exciting news, before we can talk about Frighteningly Metal Fest and all that good jazz, we got one more thing we got to get through tonight, and that is battle our of battle five. of the five. Now. For those out there watching that may have no clue what is about to happen, I'm about to present two fictional characters that are going to do battle in our arena, and there's only one rule in our arena. One Somebody person lives, dead. and one person's <laughs> dead. Absolutely. That's how the arena works. And we're going to go in the exact same order we did with seven things we must know about you. And then William, my dear friend in the background, we you, got a special one for we got you. A special one for you. You will be deciding our reigning champion at the end of this thing, Dude, just like you did tough. last time. And it is, it is it's absolutely, tough. I, I, it's good. Made me I scratch was, my head. I was vindictive about it. It is, it is a rough one. It is a rough one. All right. So <coughs> starting off with Melissa and then moving around the same way that we did with seven things we must know about you. Here's your round, my dear. Yep. Stepping into our arena. We got a little wizard battle. We're going to kick things off with tonight. Dumbledore. Steps into our arena looking to do battle with Gandalf the Grey in a fight mm. to the death. Oh, yeah. Who, you got? Mm. Who you got, Melissa? Oh, that's hard. Huh. You actually that's gave me a really tough one because I, I love both hard. these characters. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Dumbledore. What? What? Yeah. I, I love Dumbledore. Dumbledore. No what? <laughs> All right. Everybody seemed disappointed. <laughs> I would. Why is everybody listen, disappointed? Listen, I like both of those characters. That was tough for me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not like Gandalf fought off a demon monster. By Lexi's dying back there. She's like <laughs> suffocating. But Dumbledore fought off a demon monster too. No, 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 no. Gandalf no. had a sword. Gandalf no. died fighting the demon, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah. If you said Gandalf the White, maybe. The greatest beast Gandalf the also like Good resurrected. Point. Good point. God, I, all right. All right. So Dumbledore wins round one somehow by hook or by crook. It, it is what it is. 
right, moving on to round two. I like this one. I like this one. This I, I'm, I'm stoked about this one. We have yeah. a little Game of Thrones action. Jon Snow stepping into the arena, taking on a, a little bit of another Lord of the Rings shout-out, one of my personal favorites of all time. Aragorn comes in looking to do damage. Aragorn versus Jon Snow. Fight to the death. Who you got? Who's, who's, oh, who's Johnny, on Johnny, it? Johnny. Oh, Johnny, it's on you. Oh, that's easy, Aragorn. Yeah. Thank you, Aragorn. thank you, thank you. Yo, he'll walk with Jon Snow's head. <laughs> well, well Jon Snow has already died once, so. Yeah, yo. Like, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That, that's that's the right answer. I, I, yeah. Lord you of the don't Rings, fuck with a ranger. Huh? Well, I'm I'm saying, man, Fellowship of the Ring. That yeah. last scene where he literally murks. Yeah, yeah. that's the best. Works everybody, man. It's, yeah, it's yo, killer. Harman was a troop though. Getting <laughs> shot that many times. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I get it. I get it. I, I got some respect for Jon Snow, but he stands no chance against Aragon, man. That, that no, fellowships when Aragon's all raw and and he's still yeah. a ranger and shit. He's not king. It doesn't matter. He could be king. He could be ranger. That dude is bad ass. He dude, led dude, a dude. ghost army into battle. <laughs> what else do you want from the he man? Did. He beat the shit out of ring rates. Like, he made them run away. He did. He did, man. That dude is badass. And what what I love about him, he never breaks his fucking face, man. He's always yeah, the like, same it's dude. Always. It's always <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, he is. Doesn't matter. Up, it leg, doesn't matter. John Snow bro. got a little panicky face sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Legless, though. Best character. Legolas. Oh man, I don't know. We were we were all right with each other till right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm Legolas. I don't know about all that now. All right, so let's. Uh... Dude, he shoots arrows like. At... So does Aragorn. It doesn't miss. <laughs> Thank you. So does Aragorn. Thank you. Aragorn misses, bro. All right, I... round three. Round three. Continuing on with the rotation, we have a little vampire slayer battle that's going to take place here. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about this one. Celine. From Underworld, looking to do battle in a fight to the death with the Daywalker himself. Oh, oh, oh shit! Versus Celine, fight to the death. Who you I got? Uh, man, this is a hard one. I love them both. Um, I'm gonna have to give it to Blade. Because <laughs> yes. Blade is Daywalker. I'm gonna have. <laughs> Why my man look? Yo, I'm my man like that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it to Blade because he's a daywalker. He he is the reason why the vampires had a chance yep. to come back and redeem themselves. He's the reason why that Triple H got his ass whooped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was cutting someone's head off and yeah. just like exploding on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. It's, it's different. Going. Blade's different. I don't know. Oh, all right, all right. I, I, I'm <laughs> cool with it. I'm cool with it. Like, you're asking who did you battle? That's kind of like an encourager right there. But I give it, I give it to the, um, Celine. She do her thing. I like it. I like it. All right, uh, round four. You know who it's going to already. We have quite, quite the battle. Um, little, uh, little. Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter action coming out. Oh, I get the best one. I get the best one. All right, here we go. Lao Kang stepping in to do battle with the one and only Ken Masters. Fight to the death. Who you got, man? I got Liu Kang. What? Over yeah. Ken Masters? Yes. Uh, Hell like, yeah. Hey, Hell yeah. yeah. He can animality into a dragon. All right. Yeah. Kid Master's got that fire shit going on, though. I, I, so does Liu Kang. <laughs> I like it. All right, now you're right. You're right. In that, in that battle, it, it does go to Kang for sure. I just like Masters, man. I'm a fan. Masters like is Ken dope, too. too. I'm a Ken fan. Go. Ken is fire. All right, William, my dear friend, are you ready for this <laughs> oh, title round time, I'm bro? Done, done. Now, this is our first ever fatal four way fight to the death oh. for the title. All right, so we have our number one contender that was picked last week, and I also have two former dominant champions that are going to step into the arena tonight looking to take down your man. All right, so let me introduce our current and defending champion since since the last time we had Sepsis on. He's still reigning. Darth <laughs> Vader, our current Come champion. Oh, 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 oh
Yeah, you he know got, it was evil. When I said it was evil, it was evil. <laughs> He's got a hell of a challenge tonight, though. Three opponents, all right? And I want to know who would be out of all four of these, the last one standing to hold that title. Let me introduce you to his challengers. Number one, a icon of the arena, a former multi-champion, one of our longest reigning champions in history, Jason Voorhees is challenger number one. Challenger number two, the one that Strong. was dethroned, that did was dethroned by Vader, looking what? for a little vengeance tonight. The God of Thunder Thor steps back into our arena, looking to redeem himself. And we have our number one contender, a new face to the arena, a new face to title contention, Spawn. <laughs> Steps oh. into the arena. So we have Spawn oh, no. versus, oh, no. now. versus now, Jason. Now, now, now. Spawn's interesting. I'm gonna. He fucked my whole my world best. up with this one because everybody in this is immortal. So. <laughs> I I was um I was also a huge fan of uh, Pitt growing up and um mm. Todd McFarlane Image Comics. I I I love Spawn, man. Spawn, Spawn takes it. Spawn is our new champion. Spawn takes it. Spawn I like it. Like it. I, I like it. I like it. Vader has fallen finally. Now I do have. I do have one. I'm an image comics guy. Like yeah. Real for real. Yeah. Yeah. the reason Vader was champion. Yeah. And he's also the reason he was dethroned. Yeah. No, I that's like true. It. No, that's real. That's hard. I like I like it. It. Now I do have. I do have one more question before we let you go, man. Um. Who were the last two? The last two fighting each other. Who was that last victim Spawn had to write off? Mm. Mm. I mean, Th Thor had to eat it, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He had to eat it. It was personal. Thor very had to cool. go. Very cool. Yeah, no, first, it was. Man. It was. It was. Poor Thor. Poor Thor. He has he has not done well in the since since. <laughs> Did you not, not against you Vader and Spawn. Yeah. Not against uh, Vader and Spawn. No, he can take his god shit back home. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. All right, man. Well, that that's it for all of our gatekeepers. You all have passed the test. I love y'all, man. Uh, I love you too, brother. Um, so let's uh let, let's dive into things a little bit tonight. Um, now I don't think that we need to to go over every little thing that Sepsis has ever done. There's so lot. much going on right now <laughs> in the future, coming down the pipeline, all right? So what do we have coming up before we get to November? What is some of the stuff that we got coming up before we talk about what's going on in November for you guys? So we've actually got quite a few shows at this point, um, but one of the first ones is going to be Charlie's Hill, the Live, Love, yeah. Laugh festival which they do every summer um, that one is going to be super exciting and it's going to be at charlie's hill in lebanon maine um august 20th through 22nd Very we cool. play the 21st and this show is really cool because we're also doing this epic vip raffle which is being sponsored by metal mafia pure 13 and we're gonna pick five winners and you enter into this raffle by tuning into our Twitch channel. Um, go to twitch.tv slash sepsisband to gift subs or subscriptions. And then your name ends up going into a hat and we raffle away some VIP spots. Cool. And not only do you get some side stage access at this show, but we're going to be cooking for you. What? Um, yeah, <laughs> so That's myself awesome. and Lexi are going to be cooking and they're going to be going live with us on our streams. And we also are going to do this really cool acoustic set after the show just for these five people. Nice. That is cool as yeah. shit. Special VIP access. I know, mm -hmm. I, man. I want, I want, I want her to cook for me too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been told I'm a pretty good cook. So, <laughs> so very cool. That's awesome, yeah. man. That's something I love about you guys so much. I, there's a lot of bands out there that, that, that try to really interact with their fans, and mm -hmm. um, and a lot of quality bands doing a very good job at it. I think you guys take it to a whole different level. Oh yeah. Um, Thank you're, you. you're always, always trying to be online, always trying to interact. And uh, I love it. I love it. It makes you guys seem more real to a lot of people. 
And um, it's a very, very cool thing that you're doing. Very cool Twitch thing. has absolutely been a wonderful way for us to interact with the fans, especially since this whole COVID thing. Um, so we've been really interacting with the fans online. And our stream is really different too. We do a variety of things. We do music over there. We do art, cooking. Sometimes we just chat, we play games, video games as well as like board games and party games and other things. So, and yeah, we're there every single night. Oh, Have what? you ever played Quilf? Played what? Quilf. Quilf? Yeah, wow. well, it's a board game. It's an adult board game, and it's like charades and stuff. It's it's. Funny I have and not. Shit. <laughs> you gotta try it. So I guess yeah, I've never heard of that I one. I have to check it out. What are uh, what are some of the games you all have been playing over there? Because I, 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 um, so I'm, I'm when it comes to the board games and things, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. So some of it's card games. Um, we do Jenga sometimes on Fridays. What? We do drinking games. Yeah. Um, we've got these card games like Would You Rather and Never Have I Ever. Uh, we got this brand new tarot horoscope thing that's really right. funny. That's awesome. <laughs> There's just all kinds of cards stuff. against humanity. Cards against humanity. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah. it. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just got so excited about playing games and shit. I just fucking went off on a rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, uh, he yeah. got really excited about World of Warcraft. Yeah. Nick, Nick is very excited about World of Warcraft. Um, he yeah. Was... We actually have our own guild. Yeah. Well, so that's, if you that's... happen to play Horde on the Storm Reaver server, you can join our guild. So, so Nick yeah. recently joined our team. He he handles the technology side of things and science behind the scare and science and behind the scare and and Tuesday night trivia. And he also makes sure that I don't fuck up our live streams anymore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he does a lot of things for us. But what he ultimately is is he's our ultimate nerd. And um and when we were talking today, he was like, "No, nah, I've seen them play World of Warcraft because he's not. Yeah. <laughs> metal's not a hundred percent his thing. Although I'm the like, gaming is. I'm the fucking kicking him into it a little bit more than what he's ever fucking imagined. Um, oh, yeah. But uh, but that's where he, that he was like, no, no, I've seen them play World of Warcraft before, so I love it. Reaching out to people that aren't even necessarily in metal that, things, yeah. In, yeah, in that metal genre themselves necessarily, the still reaching out and touching, <laughs> getting them. Getting we them. are total gamer nerds too. I mean, we've got a whole gaming community actually on the Xbox. Very cool. So if anyone plays Xbox as well, we have a Halo gaming community over there oh called God, Immaculate Halo. Connection Gaming. See, I thought maybe if it had been like Gears of War, we'd have had something that we could have went with there. But <laughs> they're, they're, Sometimes they're, they're, the boys <laughs> play Call of Duty, so. We can switch it out. We can switch it out. <laughs> 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 Gears, though. You know, I'm not Call of Duty Black Ops, though. Yeah. And Goodfars often streams with the community yes, as I do. well yes, on I do. Twitch. Very cool. Every um, night. I love it, man. That's so cool. Don't ever stop doing that. Yeah, don't, Bar's an incredible game, that honestly. Shit, man. That's, <laughs> that's incredible, guys. I, I love it. I love it. But but continue on. I, I know you got a lot more places that, that you're Melissa, hitting, man. Melissa, Nerds Unite. We have a moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so the next show, of course, is with you guys, the oh, Haunted yeah, Honey Winners. Yeah, I heard about Can't that. Can't forget yeah. that show. <laughs> October 30th, guys, be there, J Florida. Um, we are headlining this event. Absolutely, which is you are headlining this event. And Hell so, yeah. So it's going to be fucking amazing awesome. Opportunity to do I can't this. Wait. Nah, I'm I, so I, excited. Yeah. yeah, we get to play Florida. Yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. 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 Right when it starts I'm getting better. cold up here and shit. You guys got the whole haunted event going on, too, at the same time. Yep. It's going to be incredible. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So let's And jelly balls. Yeah. We're going to have a really unique set for you guys, too. Not only are we playing originals, we got a couple covers we're going to throw in. And we got some nice. surprises. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. I'm excited. I'm excited now. Um, Moto's also told me there's the possibility I might be able to play with some fire, too. Yeah, Pyro. Uh, Ooh, very good. Awesome. That's, That's exciting. We'll see. We'll see what all, all happens. Right. We'll see what all happens. We're still uh, we're still working on things and hammering things out with, uh, with the venue. And, and, and a huge shout out to Creepy Hollow Woods and Kevin Moto. Uh, he has, they have been phenomenal, phenomenal partners to work with for this event. Um, so excited to be able to do this and, uh, and really bring Frighteningly Metal Fest mm -hmm. into, uh, into a whole different genre. And I want to take a moment and talk about the festival a little bit that you all will be headlining. Um, number one, Haunted Fucking Trail, um, which is so, so cool. Um, <laughs> that's my daughter coming in for a second to say hello. <laughs> uh, the Haunted Trail is going to be going on. So my first question is, 
when is the last time you all were able to go to a haunted attraction and experience something like that? And uh, how do y'all feel about that? Is there any any nerves pumping for what Kevin might have in store for you? I was like a child the last time I got to go to any kind of haunted event, and it was a haunted hayride. I can't remember where it was, and I've, I've been the spooky world a couple times. Other than that, that's that's it for me. <laughs> so are you are you excited, apprehensive, kind of indifferent to the haunted? I'm excited. Hall? I'm into these kind of things. Go, yeah, Mr. I like it. I'm in there. <laughs> I probably will get spooked though. Oh, Kevin will make sure of it. Kevin would be yeah, very yeah. mad at himself if he didn't scare the shit out of somebody um, from each band. As a matter of fact, I was. I he was already happy. found out some band's fear, and then he's got some craziness going on with that. I, one, so. I, well, I had to You're about to get a scream or two out of me. I'm sure. <laughs> I was having to talk Kevin down from some of the stuff that he was wanting to do to, to certain bands at certain times. Um, so I, I make no promises as to what Moto is going to do to you guys. Um, oh, God. <laughs> but he's. He's, he's Moto. I, I, don't, I don't really know what else to say about it other than that. Um, but no, so excited to have you guys headline the show. And word on the street is special, we got friends coming. special friend coming with you. Special guest might be hanging out with you. Something like that. We do. We do. Um, Bam. Very cool. Very cool. Tell yeah, us a little bit Bam's about Bam. Bam's going to be coming with us on a few dates. Sorry? Tell us a little bit about Bam. Bam is a really cool um, singer slash screamer, mostly screamer. <laughs> yeah, she's um, from, where Georgia. is she from? Where is she from? Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, no, she's a really cool person, and she's got a really cool band. You'll definitely have to check out her music. Very cool. Band. And she'll be on we a have, few dates. We have been a little bit today. We've been, and we've been looking into And if you go over it. to the Frighteningly Metal group after this is over, we've shared one of the posters from a festival going on with them too so yeah absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely all right so uh as much as i hate to do it let's let's move on from frighteningly metal fest 2 which tickets are available right now www.thehauntedhoneymooners.com 35 dollars general admission 45 dollars insanity package 85 dollars if you want to be a very important pooper um and make sure that you get to see them <laughs> up close and personal the entire <laughs> night um very important poopers but but there is definitely some really cool shit happening for you guys after Frighteningly Metal Fest 2. Let's talk about it. You guys have already announced it. I ain't even going to say nothing. Y'all <laughs> run with this one. What's happening after, after Frighteningly Metal Fest 2? What are we doing? All right. So this is huge and absolutely incredible. And I am so honored to be a part of this amazing event. Um, we are about to go on a national tour with the incredible legendary Otep. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fucking I had this girl on my wall when I was a kid. I was Hell so yeah. excited. When you posted that too, like I had to fangirl geek out a little bit too. I was like, I love Otep. Like that was me too. I was like, she's been on my wall. Like I couldn't imagine from your all standpoint getting to play with her. And I was so excited for you. I am so happy. No, that's, that is, that is so, so fucking cool. And I, I could not be happier for you all uh, to be able to do that. When I when I saw that hit, and, and I was I was fortunate enough to get a little bit of an early word about it. Um, and as soon as as soon as I heard about it, it was I, I could not have been happier. Um, so well deserved. You guys have. Thank you just, so much. I, you know, we just bravo. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, but it's we are very very blessed to be able to do what we're doing right now. And we yes, get to know yes, we get to know yes. a lot of bands on a little bit of a more personal level um, than what a lot of people do. And no disrespect to anybody out there at all, because I have nothing but love, especially for our lineup. It's it's an amazing lineup. You guys are I'm dying old. genuinely, <laughs> genuinely salt of the earth. Um, you're not just a great band; you're great people, and that makes Thank such you. a difference. Thanks. And it, it makes it easier for these things to work together and to flow together. And there's so much stuff that happens behind the scenes that we can't talk about that just just the assistance and, and helping not just for you guys. It's it's making this whole thing a big deal. Absolutely. And and all of that. And it's it's absolutely incredible. And Will, I know you're in the background, but something that he has beat into my head since we have started this is it takes a lot of people to make one of these yes, work does. and work right. It really and does. you guys have been amazing. And I couldn't couldn't ask for better partners with Creepy Hollow Woods. 
We couldn't ask for a better headliner. Um, no, and shout out to you guys for putting this event on. It's friggin' awesome that you guys are doing this, and I'm very excited to play for you. Way, yo. I can't we're, we're, we're very stoked. Speaking of the OTEP tour, guys, make sure you also go check out the world over. Um, they're going to be on that tour with us and the Almas. And the world over just came out with another music video, too, so check that out for very sure. Cool. Very cool. And yeah, no, it's going to be an, an incredible show. And make sure you go to OTEP and give her a follow and check out Absolutely. the tour dates over on their bands in town. They have everything listed. So maybe they'll end up near you. You never know. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's so exciting. And I, again, could not be happier for you all to be able to be able to do that and travel with it's OTEP. It's absolutely fantastic. It, it really is. It really is. Now, putting all the tours to the side for a second. I got two more questions before we're going to have to wrap things up here tonight, um, which makes me sad because I'm having a lot of fun tonight. I, know. I hope everybody else is too. <laughs> um, but question number one, COVID sucked, right? Nobody, nobody was happy about COVID and everybody had to do what they had to do to get through. How fucking excited are you right now to be on the precipice of some real live shows again and being able to get back out there doing what you're doing? What is the mood? at sepsis right now how like like how stoked are you guys to be ready to do this shit right now okay i can't even begin to express how excited i am to get <laughs> back out day. there um <laughs> so we've gone through some things over the entire covid situation um just before covid hit our previous drummer quit on us um, we got a brand new drummer now. His name's Joe. We just announced him like the other day, really. And um, we're all getting back to the band room finally. I think this weekend's going to be the first time we're all playing together in like over a year. So we're really happy to get back to music. Very cool. Very cool. And we're excited. We're excited That's to see it. I can't wait. And it's funny, too. This is the first time that me and Melissa have been in person since COVID. Yeah. Today's the day. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like weird. <laughs> it's like weird. Yeah, a bunch of emotions. No, we're fucking ecstatic yeah. to yeah. be back, you know, making music together again and, um, you know, recording some stuff and getting ready to tour, you know, the album re released during the pandemic and lockdown. So. And we just came out with a new single called You Already Know, which was released April 30th. Um, we had a chance today to play some music. That was one of them. <laughs> so cool. we're pretty excited to come out with some new music for you guys. Um, we're still writing album two as we speak. Hopefully we can release that within the coming years. We're thinking maybe towards the end of 2022. Nice. Very Hopefully. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Well, that kind of that kind of answered my other question. I was going to ask, aside from the tours and everything, what else is kind of happening in the world of sepsis, right? I got one right. more question. <laughs> okay, all right, go ahead. Did Joe pick a name? Joe has <laughs> not picked a name. No. Okay, guys, no, here's the thing. Together, Joe man. does not have a stage name yet. You guys got to help us out. Yeah, help we need him help. Out. Come up with a name. Help us out. All right, absolutely. You made the comments right now. Maybe throw out a couple names that we can get for Joe. We got to get Joe They had an awesome name. live the other day, and there was, like, so many awesome names. And then there was some names that was like, the what? I swear to God, if Joe, shows up, if Joe shows up in Florida without a fucking stage name, it's he gonna needs be a, a name. <laughs> yeah, no, it ain't happening. He, he ain't playing a show without one. <laughs> very cool, very cool. All right, well, um, thank you all so much, number one, for being a part of this, and um, not just being a part of tonight and being able to share in the amazing news of you guys touring with OTEP which is absolutely fucking phenomenal. And again, big round of applause mm -hmm. to you all for that. And announcing the BAM's coming. Yeah, the BAM's going to be joining yeah. with you yeah. for the headliner at Frighteningly Metal Fest 2. Again, she, she I, I don't give as many shameless too. plugs as I fucking she want to. There's a lot of shameless plugs. www.thehauntedhoneymooners.com is where you can get your tickets right now. And remember, next five ticket purchases, free Collective Occult T-shirt is coming your way. Take that screenshot, way. send it over to them, and they will get that shirt to you. Absolutely, absolutely. So last thing, as we do for every single person that's on Frighteningly Metal and is a part of this and, and, and joins us for this stuff, I'm going to turn the show completely over to you for just a second for your shameless plugs, your shout-outs, your thank yous, whatever you want to say, however you want to say it. Sepsis, so much love for each and every single one of you. Will, I know you're in the background. Much <laughs> love for you, my brother. And, um, Thank you. Much love to you guys too. A lot of excitement, man. A lot of excitement. Definitely. And Joe, I want to hear your name. And Joe, pick a goddamn <laughs> name. 
Um, what do you guys got? Where can people reach out to you? Where can they get a hold of sepsis if they've been living under a rock and don't know where to go right now? Well, thanks guys so much for watching this epic interview. Um, you can check us out over at sepsis.com, spelled S-E-P-S-I-S-S. -S -S. Yes, you need that extra S. It's super important. <coughs> Otherwise, it's probably going to take you to some medical website or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely go check out the website. Um, you can learn everything about us there. We've got merch. We've got CDs. We've got everything so just check it out we got music videos over there you can also find us on youtube spotify itunes all social media sites everything very cool very we cool. also have a facebook group called the swarm where anyone can share any form of art or entertainment or whatever the fuck you do as long as you do something go to the swarm and share it and shout out to our swarmies because they are fucking amazing be we have the best fans in the fucking world don't just follow us. Make sure you also follow your local bands. Yep. And this is this is going to be my last little part. Now, Frighteningly Metal Fest 2 is is incredibly important to me. It is. Um, it's incredibly important to her. No, it's incredibly important to Sepsis. And I wanted to be able to offer one last little thank you. So, if, and only if, we completely sell this motherfucker out, right? There ain't no more tickets. Kevin, as he said, has to tell me, we're not fucking Woodstock. We can't sell any more tickets. <laughs> um, if that happens, if that happens, right here, I'm going to get the Sepsis logo tattooed yep. live. Oh! Live, all right? But it's got to sell out. It's got to sell out, all right? That's, that's, that's the deal. It sells out the, the, a couple days after the festival's We're over. We're live. I will. Yeah. I know, I know I have that. Yeah. Hey, you know, if you get the steps of star tattooed, we're going to share you across you all of yeah. our social media platforms. Well, blast you everywhere. I, I appreciate that. That that's 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 not the uh, that's not the motivation behind it. Or <laughs> it's just love. We're just uh, saying. It's just absolute love, and I know that everybody's uh, seen the tattoos and knows that I got the tattoos that run all the way up here. I fucking hate getting hate tattoos. Hateful. Just so everyone knows. I, I love. <laughs> I love the results. I am a fucking <laughs> baby about it. I don't like it. I and hate it. Do it live. I'm gonna do it live. I'm gonna get tattooed live so y'all can sit there and watch me go. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, <laughs> At least he's honest. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, oh, yeah. Just don't get your ribs. Or oh, get no. your ribs. It doesn't. It doesn't matter, ribs. man. I, I appreciate the encouragement, <laughs> but it. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I'm, <laughs> Sorry I'm about that. Boo. <laughs> Dude, legit, the worst one I've gotten so far is the back of my shoulder blade. I had no idea that shoulder blade was going to hurt like a bitch like that. <laughs> yeah, the torso sucks. Yeah. Anything on so, the torso. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that's absolutely 100%. We sell this thing out. I'm gonna get it tattooed right here and uh, and keep that with me forever. Um, that is so incredible. Thank awesome. you so much. Um, so uh, so it. that's it. <laughs> that's it for frighteningly metal. Guys, please make sure you want to be able to see Sepsis headline this event. You want to be able to go to a haunted trail and check out eight other incredible bands, one of which we're about to give you Welcome to the Collective. We're about to give you their song in its entirety. www.thehauntedhoneymooners.com. Tickets are on sale right now. You can right go now. get them right now. You can go get them. No problems whatsoever. They're there. They're there for you. And if you want to see me squirm like a little girl, go buy some fucking tickets. Yeah. All right. And we've done yes, decided if we can fucking swing do it. it. <laughs> we can swing it and make it happen at work. We're coming to see you guys in Ohio in November. What? Heard. Heard. Okay. All right. So there you go. We'll uh, we'll be seeing you again apparently with Otep. <laughs> with Otep. All right. And, uh, and uh, that that's it for tonight. Everybody, get one last big goodbye in before we hit you with "Welcome to the Collective" from the Collective Occult that will be kicking off Frighteningly Metal Fest too. Thank you all so much.